Hello guys, so in today's video we are going to show you how to beat the Tower Trials. Now it is going to have some units that are kind of like, you have to spend some kind of money. You can get lucky, but this is just an easy way to clear it if you do have these units. Um, I'm not too sure how to beat it without these units because I was just told these are the units to use. Um, so pretty much for the first stage, this is what team you're on you're just always gonna run attack food basically on the three stages that's what i used so pretty much the first strategy is uh blue for after dies you have lilia for extra damage right pierce and then you use lost fane lost fane ult kills all of them all right now they always have a question mark cc which pretty much just means they're gonna out cc you no matter what unfortunately Next skill, boom. Alright. Doesn't matter that he attacks my latest there. It's whatever. So Fraudrin's dead. And boom. Alrighty. Oh, okay. He wants to attack one more time. Alright, so Melio just gets his ult here. Hopefully this crits. We'll do a little bit of that. It doesn't matter. It should just kill right here. Bob. Oh, Melly lived. I don't think I crit Melly. All right, hang on. All right. Oh, he's he's pretty much dead. But pretty much in sense, you'd crit all three of them. Cause see how my single target did nothing. You just want to AOE the whole thing. So that does work. As long as you kill the little goblin things, I believe they heal a ton. So that's how you beat the first stage. Uh, my melee is 6'6", and his gear is max, though, so keep that in mind. Uh, it is not very free-to-play friendly, I've noticed. Alright, for this one, all you do is just literally just bring the one. Instead of Lilia. Uh, I believe I do have to switch his gear. Boop. Alrighty. Oh, almost forgot to bring the attack food. Alright, pretty much now for this stage, I believe it is Bond is immortal in a sense. Uh, you have to kill him once. He has a revive. Um, the giant dudes, uh, pretty much you hit them and you die instantly. What I've seen. Uh, so pretty much the Lost Vein ults, he kills Bond. No, Bond, Bond dies in one hit. Sorry, he's not immortal. I'm thinking of the next stage where you have to kill him once. Uh, Bond, so Bond dies to Lost Vein ult. Hope, like, this is what you're hoping. And he dies. Alright, so I think I have to crit here. Oh, we might one turn this. Alright, so ult... Um, I believe you target this one so you can kill with the one and then you bonk the other one. Alright, so hopefully we get it here. Ah, he lived. Unfortunate. Yeah, I reflect all that and then the one kills, right? And then, ah, uh, unfortunate. Yeah, I'm dead. So that would have killed. Okay, we'll try out one more time. Just so you guys see that it is possible to beat this with this team. So eat, attack, food. I think I got this one done on my second try. Bond died then. So actually, I think what happened was I ulted with Lost Fan and had to wait a turn to kill them because uh, I only drew one card. But it doesn't matter. As long as you kill with Lost Fan. Alright, here's another scenario where I'm gonna have the ults turn one. Well, I guess my turn one. Crit. Where's the crits, bro? No crit again. Huh. I mean, it doesn't matter. Bonk. There's the crit. Now that matters. 
Yeah, both ults. Alright. Boom, boom, bonk. The only three cards you need from the stage. Ah. Oh. I did not kill, unfortunately. I think... Then I don't have gear. Oh. Alright, hang on. We're gonna cut to all the gear putting on, because I don't think I have gear on my Zogris. Actually, no. We're, just, we're, we're gonna leave it in. As you can see, I have cleared it. It was just... Alright, Bob. Eldris. As yeah, Eldris didn't have any gear. He did last time. Alright, if that one. We lost my brother's gear. Who is you again? Recovery rate? Yeah, we have that. Eating. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, no, it just hit me. Okay, so the reason Melly wasn't killing is because Melly had an additional card. Alright, so I don't know why it took me that long to realize that. So for this one, right? Oh, it's an Escanor card. Okay. So pretty much what you would want to happen is you would draw a additional melee card since his ult gives you more damage so boom eat food yeah like i said the tower isn't super free to play friendly uh loading 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 come on also i do not have gear on my death pierce it really doesn't matter just the one and melee just have to do enough damage all right on i'm gonna quit if i don't see it Alright, right, I'm gonna pause and uh, keep going until I get the right hand. Alrighty, we're here. We finally... <laughs> it took me like five attempts. Alright, so obviously we have three, so now the Lost Vein Old is gonna do more damage. I would still recommend bringing attack food for this. Bomb, he gets bombed. Thankfully, they do not merge. Alright. Secret technique, AOE, do that. Oh, counter! Alright, Bond's dead. Meliodas, they just. F f f I don't even know what that was. 5 billion, something like that. He's dead. Alright. Yeah, Escanor's just fine. They don't do too much damage. Oh, well, congratulations on pulling a collab unit. Alright, and then we just bonk, bonk. Alright, and that is how you beat the stage. And then Escanor will hit this guy, and then schmack. It is done. That is how you beat second stage. Yeah, it took me a couple attempts. So don't expected to be the first try there's a little bit of rng but once you get the lost fame card clear to turn you're fine all right now for this one number three you have to use sr characters so what i recommend doing now i was stubborn i didn't want to raise anybody so i used where is he uh starter meliotis i used him i used Red freaking Slater. And my not even fully awakened lids. Alright. Uh, I Who did I have? I believe I just gave him like Eskimo or something. And then let me get them gear real quick. So pretty much you want to give them uh attack gear, obviously. You want Slater to have attack gear. 
You want another set of attack gear. The best ones you have, not the closet. Come on now. And then you want Elizabeth to have like just whatever tanky stuff you can have. I believe she still has. Yeah, she still has her gear. And then attack food. So pretty much for this one, uh, SRs do like a bunch more damage. And Meliodas uh, and Slater will get their ult because Fraudrin dies for turn one. It doesn't matter that Fraudrin is an SSR here. He dies instantly. There's only SSRs. Alright, so. This one took me a while. I will probably just cut it because I know it is doable as you've seen me beat it. Uh, obviously, you'd want your characters to be like level 80 like my list was an 80. And then you'd probably want to throw some super rating points into your units. SA5 is out on global. You don't have to use them on these units, but it'd probably be better. So pretty much, you get ults, right? Only one, unfortunately. So, hit there, hit him with that, hit him with that. These guys are like the heal. So pretty much you just rush the ult so you could... Yeah, the one on the left doesn't die to sleep. But the one on the right will die to Melly if he crits. Alright, so he's dead. Now, sure, you know, if you see, it's Blue King. Blue King heals. And these guys also heal with their ult. So, pretty much, you one-shot them. Or not one-shot them. Melios will one-shot this one. Slater will hit this one. And then you'd kill him on the second turn. Alright. So, we do that. We do that for good measure. And then... This is why Red Slater is really good for this stage. He will stop King from petrifying and stop him from healing. Which is good because uh, he pretty much just heals the full HP. And now the whole reason Liz is here is just to heal because he will ult and it will hit Slater decently hard. He just will keep him alive. Alright, so we are going to do this, this and that right, let's see all right so yeah you see, as you can see srs do a million damage on this stage i think i'm going to all right hang on we'll, we'll see oh, it doesn't attack my it's unfortunate so he does have ult here so we're gonna heal do that and hit him with additions. Also, Liz's level two does give you orbs, which is really good for your ult because your ults are gonna be used to hit him really hard. Also, this king has a revive. It's very unfortunate that he does because this stage was very annoying. It actually took me like 20 minutes to beat this because my RNG was just so bad with draw cards. He has his ult instantly. Interesting. Can he even attack? You're going to keep it that way. Pretty much you just have them unlock with the Liz and the Slater cards, and then you just beat the hell out of them. Oh. Alright. Divination. Pop that, pop that. Actually, yeah. We'll do this. Heal, heal, because one of the cards is a move. Lowers his attack as well, so you love the ult. Awesome, there we go. We're getting cards now. Bop. We live. Rejuvenation's OP. Now, yeah, like I said, this is pretty, this is probably the easiest stage. Uh, sadly, you have to go through the harder stages to get to this one. But this is definitely the most, like, free-to-play friendly as... Old blue fraud and summonable the rest of them are pretty i mean she's summonable but like oops <laughs> you'll get them she's just an sr all right oh okay hang on those are pretty good all right so what i can do here is that and then ult hopefully we kill yeah okay activate unique so once that's gone, you can kill him. I don't think Melly's gonna finish him off here, though. Yeah, he lived. 
Alright, and this is what I mean by him healing. That's also a good punch. So he's gonna heal. Yeah, he pretty much just healed all of his HP back. You do not want to sit here over and over and over and have him just spam that. I think that's the one that petrified the other. Okay. So no healing. Get hit. Uh, we'll do that. Hopefully I can rush Melly Wolf. Okay, so he's gonna ult, ult he's probably gonna live. I think Melly should be okay. We get to merge. Go, Melly, go. Alright, I'm, I'm just gonna keep this all. The video's not that long. Alright, Melly, merge, let's go. Alright, we lived. Slater's, like, just so good. This team is just it's easy. Alright, Bob. Uh, we'll hit him with that. Hit him with the counter if you want to start going. Stop him from healing. Also, weak point, slices the like butter. So yeah, I'd say the MVP of this is this Meliodas right here. As you can see, no one is super awakened, and my level is level 70, and we beat it. Oh. And that's pretty much it. So, the teams from the first stage, Blue Fraudren. Blue Lilia, Lost Vein, Death Pierce, second team, Blue Fraudren, Lost Vein, the one, Death Pierce, and then this team is the one that you uh, finish it with. And that's pretty much it for the video. That's how you beat Tower pretty easily. Um, I had no issues really, just RNG for the second one. And uh, the third one's just annoying, but I still beat it. Um, that's all guys, uh, thanks for watching till the end, uh, like and subscribe for more Grand Cross content, and I'll check y'all out later. Peace.